everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about why the inside of your cheek may be peeling or sloughing away. So I've had lots of patients throughout the years tell me that they notice tissue actually sloughing or peeling off in their mouths. So anytime us dental professionals see skin inside of the mouth peeling off, we usually need to use a process of elimination to figure out what's causing it. So let's talk about the five most common reasons you might be noticing this and let's figure out if any of these speak true to you. SLS. One of the top causes of inside cheek peeling is from the ingredient sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS. SLS is in a lot of toothpaste blends because of the way it helps hold all of the other ingredients together. And SLS also causes the foaming action, which makes some toothpaste a bit more bubbly and foamy than others. However, on a microscopic level, SLS is an irritant. Some people are more sensitive to certain irritants than others with SLS being one of the top offenders. So people who tend to have sensitive skin or react to SLS will usually see the inside of their mouth peeling after a while of using a toothpaste that contains SLS. And something to know, it's not necessarily going to happen if you're using general products that contain SLS, like hand soap. But if you are putting it in your mouth in the form of toothpaste, sometimes it can be an issue. So of course, always mention it to your dentist or dental hygienist if it's something you've been noticing. They will be able to give you recommendations for toothpaste products that do not contain SLS as an active ingredient. You can also read the labels to find which ones are free of SLS. Oftentimes, sensitivity toothpaste do not contain SLS. So by process of elimination, the easiest way to figure out if your cheek is peeling from SLS ingredients is to simply stop using the toothpaste that contain it and start using one that doesn't have it. And then after a couple of weeks, evaluate your mouth and see if there's a difference. If there is, it was likely due to the SLS. But if there isn't, you're about to do some more detective work. Like maybe you're biting your cheeks. Some of us tend to clench and bite our teeth so much that we catch the inside of our cheeks without even knowing it. And it's like a callus. Our mouths can develop roughened skin where the irritation is always occurring. You might see the peeling skin in a straight line right inside of your cheek, right where your teeth hit together. In some cases, there is even a scalloped shape to it based on the biting edges of your smile. And like we said, cheek biting may be habitual or because of stress and concentration, chances are you really probably don't even realize you're doing it. Usually the best advice for this is to address whatever you're focusing on or stressing over that's causing it. Another thing that may be causing cheek peeling could be food allergies. If you're eating a highly acidic diet, it could be irritating the mucous membranes inside of your mouth. Other times, people develop food allergies as they get older. Even though food allergies don't typically cause your skin to peel, they can cause redness and dry patches similar to eczema. A rash around your mouth and face is also common. This is something to definitely clue both your dentist and physician in on so you can figure out what food might be causing the issue. Next up, oral trauma. Have you ever burned your mouth on a piece of pizza? It's much more common than you probably thought. Usually food burns happen in the roof of your mouth where that hot gooey cheese gets stuck on your palate. And then after a day or two, the skin there starts to peel. Other oral trauma is poking or cutting the inside of your mouth with a tortilla chip. I'm not making this up. We see it all the time in the dental offices, those tortilla chips. And as your gums start to heal in those spaces, there's usually a little peeling. And of course, there's a bunch of other examples of oral trauma, sporting accidents, car wrecks, and other injuries that can be to blame. And lastly, oral thrust. Thrush. thrush, or candidiasis, is a type of yeast infection. It's common in people who are taking antibiotics, people who are immunocompromised, or have an undiagnosed systemic disease. If you know you're going to be taking antibiotics, it can be super helpful to eat yogurt or take probiotics to reduce your chances of developing oral thrush. And the thing about thrush is that a typical thrush outbreak will have white residue that can be wiped away. And then you can see a red raw skin underneath. It might be on the roof of your mouth or inside of the cheeks. So if this is you, schedule an appointment with your dentist or a physician ASAP because it can be easily managed with a topical steroid cream or other prescription drugs. So in all, what do you do if you start to notice skin peeling inside of your mouth? Do you call your dentist right away? Not necessarily right away. If it's not causing pain, and especially if it's something isolated and temporary, like from a pizza burn, give it a few days. But if it's hurting you, like from a filling or braces, you'll definitely want to have your dentist adjust it to eliminate the irritant at the source. For 
chronic peeling skin that doesn't respond to changing up your toothpaste? Of course be sure to bring that issue up to your dentist. It's always best to be on the safe side. And although peeling skin is often nothing serious, it's important to rule out oral cancer or other autoimmune diseases that you might not have known you had. Because yes, your dentist does know how to screen for those symptoms too. Dentists are doctors of the mouth. They are trained in oral and systemic pathology, not just teeth. So if you have skin peeling inside of your mouth, your dentist's office is one of the best places you can go. Schedule an appointment. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.